Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media 1. I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. Yes, I am cheaper and better than the BBC. <sighs> you get me for free, and that's what we like up here in Yorkshire. Things for free. So, what am I talking about today? Well, I'm going to be talking about the history of CCTV. How, you know, do you know how long it's it's been in Great Britain and things like that? So, we're going to talk about that. And I've got a few notes on my phone, so here we go. Yeah. They they uh, uh, so nineteen sixty they could only be used for live monitoring and, and compromise compromised of camera and monitor CCTV was originally introduced to Britain streets in nineteen sixty as a temporary measure for overseeing crowds at Trafalgar Square during a visit by the royal family. Uh, when did CCTV become common? The 1970s video surveillance systems are used to monitor traffic in and around London, including the London London Underground in 1975. The use of surveillance systems at soccer matches begins the 1980s use of video surveillance systems at parking garage and council estates owned by local authorities began 30th of March 2022. Did the CCTV uh, fast forward through the 70s and the 80s? This is when security cameras were installed in more public places like banks, retail stores, and ATMs. And finally, in the 90s, we began to see ancestors of the cameras we know today with the first nanny cam, IP camera, and webcams entering homes. Throughout the 1980s, experiments with CCTV continued and following a successful test in Bournemouth in 1985, the first use of public spare CCTV by local government was rolled out in King Blake, Norfolk in 1987. Surveillance cameras in, in the late 80s and early 90s still relied on CCTV networks and VCR tapes had to be switched and stored. The system worked, but it was less than ideal. Enter the digital revolution, 18th of July. By 2016, this number had risen to one, uh, one CCTV camera for every 11 citizens, making the UK leading country in the world for surveillance of its own citizens. While it's common to see CCTV cameras on virtually every high street, they are many more places where you being monitored 24/7. Did the uh, During the 1970s, VCR replaced video cassettes as the simplest way to record and view video surveillance footage and New York City was eager to take advantage of this technology to record, prevent crime to the early 70s, place security cameras in problem areas throughout the city to begin tracking crime. So basically, that's your CCTV. So we've had it in this country, UK, 1960s, 70s, 80s and 90s and so on, as we all know. Originally, the CCTV was meant to you know, you know, just watch crowds and that and make sure that people were safe and things like that. But if you fast forward it to 2023 now, you've got face recognition cameras and things like that. And that's what we're getting up to do. Face recognition. Um, 
the on one hand it is supposed to make it easier for tracking people in crime but on the other hand it's you know if you look like me and you, you can read between the lines and then having face recognition camera is <laughs> it's is easier to spy on people basically it's a lot easier to track people and to watch you where you're going making sure that you're not going into the wrong areas and things like that you know what I mean so there is you know you know a two a two-faced coin when you think about it but that's what CCTV was originally designed for well, to get all the information to track crime to make sure that we were safe in crowds and things like that but um, it's gone on it, it, it's gone further than that in in a lot of people's mind and opinion um you know so the history of it now is you know face recognition cameras oh well you know i mean a lot of people say oh well it's for better you know it's easy to trap people and that yeah it's easy to trap people and it's also easier to uh, sell the information to other people as well um and that you know, you know, I mean, I mean, people have asked me, you know, you know, are we going to become like China, you know, or Russia, where they're watching us all the time? And yes, very much so. That's what's happening. You know, you see in the beginnings in this country, right at the beginning of a police state, basically, and um, it is coming. You know, slowly but surely, they are slowly taking away our freedom of speech and human rights all the book surely and um, believe it or not it's it, it, it's your fault it's people's fault that this is happening you know we can stop this this has to be stopped but you know people are just letting it go and go and go and go in other words you've been sleepwalked into it basically at the end of the day so it is what it is but yes yeah you know you are seeing the beginnings of a police state with our modern cctv where they can trap car, you know, car, car number plates on the move and things like that. Um, I don't know <coughs> if you know this or not, but Sadiq Khan is in trouble from getting fines through CCTV because it's illegal, but it can be done. He, you know, he did it to prove a point. So if you can be fined, you, know, you, know, you can't be. It's illegal, but... Yeah, you know I mean, in the future, when they do start doing this through CCTV, that's why you got car recognition number plates. You know, yeah, you know, they say it's to yeah, you know, it is to keep you in your own neighbourhood where you can drive around and things like that. But if you visit another neighbourhood, and that, then you'll be fined. It's as simple as that, and that's why all these cameras are around. But that's why some cameras are in on people's street as well. Uh, they say it's to protect the citizens, you know, just in case of serious crime and that. But it's where they're putting the cameras, it, where I question, really. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, you can put, you know, you, know, you know, they can put these cameras anyway, but it's, it's where they're putting them. They're not putting them, really. Yes, some are on the main arteries and the main roads, but some are in, like, quiet housing estates and things like that. So it is... Uh, very much so Big Brother is watching at this moment in time so that's the history of it um, I don't know if you knew that we had CCTV you know the beginnings of CCTV cameras in uh, 1960 but we did so I thought I'd do that I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give me a thumbs up please like the video please subscribe if you're new in it the bell icon it all that will let you know when I'm uploading another video also Please share the video to your friends and your family and to other social media like Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, X Twitter if you know what I mean, and Twitch. And also use the comment section below and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now. Catch you all later.